Imagine facing a creature whose very existence hinges on a deadly riddle. This is the Greek Sphinx, vastly different from her Egyptian counterpart. Fierce, cunning and merciless, she stands as a gatekeeper to Thebes, challenging all with a puzzle that has claimed countless lives. Who was brave enough to solve it? And would you be able to? The Greek Sphinx was said to be the daughter of the mother Typhon and Echidna, a creature who was half woman and half snake. Typhon was a fearsome figure, often described as the deadliest monster of them all. Echidna, on the other hand, was known for beauty and a deadly nature. This pairing of Typhon and Echidna brought forth a brood of monsters, including the Sphinx. While the Sphinx was part of a fearsome family, including the Nemean lion, Hydra and Cerebus, her story is unique in its mysteries and challenges. Unlike her monstrous siblings, her weapon was not just physical strength, but a deadly riddle that ensnared the minds of their victims. The city of Thebes was plagued by the Sphinx. This creature sat outside the city, posing a riddle to those who wished to enter. The Sphinx declared that she would destroy anyone who failed to answer correctly. Her riddle was profound in its simplicity and depth. It asked, what walks on four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night? Before you watch the rest of the video, write your answer in the comments. I'd love to see what you would answer. Riddles were an important part of ancient Greek culture. They were seen as a way to convey wisdom and challenge the intellect. The Greek value wit and intelligence, and riddles were a popular form of mental exercise, often used by philosophers and teachers to stimulate thinking. The Sphinx Riddle, in particular, was famed for its depth and ingenuity. It wasn't just a test of one's ability to solve puzzles, but also a reflection on the nature of life itself. The stakes were high for those who attempted to answer the Sphinx Riddle. Failure meant death, as the Sphinx would kill and devour anyone unable to provide the correct answer. This dire consequence added a layer of urgency and seriousness to the riddle, making it a matter of life and death. Many have tried, many have failed. But then there was a young prince, Oedipus, who solved the riddle. Oedipus' story begins with a prophecy. He was the son of King Laius and the Queen Jocasta of Thebes. A fortune teller said that Oedipus would grow up to hurt his father and marry his mother. To stop this, his father left him on the mountain. But a kind shepherd found Oedipus and brought him to a king and queen in Corinth who raised him. As a grown-up, Oedipus heard the same prophecy. He thought his Corinth parents were the real ones, so he left to protect them. On his way at the crossroads, he argued with strangers and accidentally killed them. He didn't know one was his real father, King Laius. This sad twist meant part of the prophecy came true without him knowing. As Oedipus entered the city of Thebes, he was immediately struck by the atmosphere of dread and anxiety that pervaded the streets. The source of this fear was the Sphinx. Her presence cast a long shadow over the city, a constant reminder of the deadly riddle she posed to all who dared to approach. Many had tried to solve it, but none had succeeded, their failures only adding to a terrifying legend. The citizens of Thebes watched from a safe distance as Oedipus, a man already known for his intellect and valor, stepped forward to confront this challenge. The air was thick with suspense, the stakes couldn't have been higher. In front of the Sphinx there was a silent standoff between human determination and mythic power. When the Sphinx gave her famous riddle, it became very quiet. Oedipus knew this was a big moment. He focused hard on the riddle. Every second was full of tension. It was a time of worry and hope. It could lead to success or failure for him. After a period, he responded to the Sphinx riddle. His answer was concise yet profound. Man, he said who crawls on all fours as a baby, walks on two feet as an adult, and uses a walking stick in old age. The answer was correct. As soon as Oedipus gave his answer, things changed. He was the first to solve a tricky riddle, something no one had done before. In Greek mythology, the defeat of the Sphinx had profound implications. According to the legend, upon hearing the correct answer, the Sphinx was overcome with frustration in a sense of defeat. At some versions of the story, she destroys herself 
either by throwing herself off the cliff where she resided, or by devouring herself, thus ending her reign of terror over Thebes. The death of the Sphinx was more than just the end of a creature. It symbolized the triumph of human wit and intelligence over hard challenges. Oedipus's victory over the Sphinx was a moment of liberation for the people of Thebes. It not only saved his life, but also freed the city from the grip of fear that the Sphinx had imposed. This act of solving the riddle and the subsequent demise of the Sphinx elevated Oedipus to a hero status, eventually leading to a tragic rise and fall as the king of Thebes. The Sphinx myth is not unique to Greece, as similar beings appear in Egyptian, South Asian and Southeast Asian mythologies, each with their own unique traits. In Egypt, the Sphinx is seen as a benevolent guardian, while in South Asia, it often appears as a temple protector. Even within Greece, the Sphinx depiction varies, reflecting the diversity of local beliefs and artistic styles. This versatility of the Sphinx across cultures underscores its universal appeal and adaptability as a mythological symbol. The Sphinx connects all stories to today's world. It helps us think about how people understand their mind and their search for knowledge. The story includes important ideas from Greek culture, like how important wisdom is, how fate is something we can't avoid, and how complicated life can be. As our story comes to an end, we find a timeless symbol that speaks to the core of our humanity. This mythical guardian of Thebes with a perplexing riddle not only embodies the mysteries of ancient Greek culture, but also reflect our ongoing quest to understand life's complexities. The Sphinx challenges to face the unknown with courage and wisdom, just as it has done for centuries. In the story of the Greek Sphinx, we find both a mirror to our deepest curiosities and a reminder of the enduring power of myth to inspire and teach across generations. This is the story about the Greek Sphinx. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This way, you won't miss our next video. Remember, these old stories teach us a lot about people and history. Thank you for watching. Until next time.